James Kenneth Stephen was an English poet and tutor to Prince Albert Victor, eldest son of Albert Edward, Prince of Wales. Early life Stephen was the second son of Sir James Fitz James Stephen, barrister at law, and his wife Mary Rich and de Cunningham. James Kenneth Stephen was known as Jem among his family and close friends. He was first cousin to Virginia Woolf, nay Stephen. He was a King's Scholar at Eton, where he proved to be a highly competent player of the Eton Wall game, and then went up to King's College, Cambridge, again as a King's Scholar, and was made a Fellow of King's College in 1885. He was a renowned intellectual, and it was said that he spoke in a pedantic, but highly articulate and entertaining manner. Poetry Stephen wrote a satirical pastiche of Thomas Gray's Ode to the Distant Prospect of Eton College, pillorying Eton for being Tory. The poem, which gave him a reputation as a misogynist is Men and Women, where he describes two people, a man and a woman, whom he does not know but to whom he takes a violent dislike. The first part, subtitled, In the Backs, the Backs is a riverside area of Cambridge, concludes. However many of his other poems show that this misogyny is more accurately described as only one facet of a sardonic nature. Death Stephen suffered a serious head injury in an accident in the winter of 1886-1887 which may have exacerbated the bipolar disorder from which he suffered. His cousin Virginia Woolf suffered from the same disorder throughout her adult life. In January 1892 the former royal tutor heard that his erstwhile pupil, the 28-year-old Prince Albert Victor, Duke of Clarence had died of pneumonia at Sandringham. After contracting influenza, on hearing the news, Stephen refused to eat, and died 20 days later, aged 32. His cause of death, according to the death certificate, was mania. Eaton Legacies Stephen was noted for his prodigious size and physical strength. At Eton, he was an outstanding player of the wall game. He played for college on St. Andrew's Day four times. In 1874, 1875, 1876 and 1877. In the last two years he was keeper, or captain, of the college wall. College beat the Abadans by four shies to nil in his first year as keeper, and by ten shies to nil the next year. Ever after, the King's scholars have honored J.K. Stevens' memory with a toast at the Christmas Sock Supper, or other festive occasions, in Pium Memoriam. J. K. S. In pious memory of J. K. S. Stephen was recalled in less pious memory in a play by former Eden House master and Old Etonian, Angus Graham Campbell, entitled Sympathy for the Devil. It premiered at the Eden Drama Festival in 1993. This was based on the notion that Stephen could have been one of the Jack the Ripper suspects. This theory has been dismissed, because he would have been unable to return to Cambridge in time for lectures the following morning. Stephen's poem The Old School List from Cuomo's Attendance is included in the front pages of H. E. C. Stapleton's Eaton School Lists 1853-1892, and the author refers to him in the preface as Anatonian of Great Promise who died only too early for his numerous friends. During his time at Eton, Stephen was a friend of Harry Goodhart, who became an England international footballer and later a professor at the University of Edinburgh. Goodhart is referred to as one of them's wed in the last verse of the old school list. Collections